We, we could have done a better job with this road. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not good, not good. Not good. Let's let's take the Jeep back. <laughs> let's take it back. Oh, jeez. In the garage. Oh. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to a first impressions of an upcoming title. Uh, this here is not the full title. This here, as you can see down the bottom there, is the pre-alpha demo. It is available free on Steam, possibly a few other places as well. I'll link down below. Uh, it is only a demo that, that, that is free. The game itself is not out yet. No idea when it is coming out. However, this is a game that I'm kind of interested to see how it goes. And I guess this video is more for myself to remember to keep an eye on it. It's kind of a, a theme park, roller coaster tycoon style game, but as you can see in the background there, with dinosaurs, including uh, feathered dinosaurs. Anyway, we're going to jump into it. It's it's very limited in what you can do to begin with. Uh, more, I just wanted to bring this to your attention so that if it's something that you're interested in, you can 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 follow along. To start with, uh, very simple um, options for what we can and cannot do. Uh, normal game, we can't choose the other two options. The park, we can't... Uh, I think we can rename it, can't we? We can. Fair wind. Park. Yep, we'll go with that. <laughs> uh, unlimited funds, we can't change that. We can't change the difficulty. We can't change any of anything else. Things like... Um, suitable building space, that's uh, actually quite a, a lot of building space out there. Easily accessible as well. Yeah, I'm. I have. I'm assuming that that has something to do with visitors getting to the park. In this particular game demo, you do not get any visitors. Only staff will ever set foot on this this particular island. Uh, let's jump into it. However, setting the age selection slider in the nursery menu will dictate the age of a newly bred animal. We'll get to play around with that and see how it goes when it happens. Now, I'm showing very little desktop audio at the moment, but at least I'm showing the game. <laughs> I've tried recording this already, had a few issues with it. We'll see how we go. This will not be... I guess this will be a, a, a guilty pleasure video, because there's not really enough content to, to do a series out of it. Yet, I am definitely looking forward to seeing this one, however. Alright, so this here is our map. Controls are very intuitive. Uh, right click to spin around, uh, WASD moves you around, uh, scroll zooms in and out or up and down, so very very basic, very simple controls. This here is the island that we get to play around with. There are a few mountains out here and a whole lot of water. I like to start my, my park off right here. I like to imagine this here all being docks, similar to Jurassic World, uh, complete, uh, silly movie, but, you know, dumb, enjoyable. I, I enjoyed it even though it was completely nonsense <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I like to think that this here is going to be our dock. Maybe, uh, maybe if, if there are water dinosaurs, or, well, yeah, aquatic prehistoric animals, uh, we can build something in here that the, I don't know, ships are going to have to avoid as they bring our people in, or maybe we can feed a few <laughs> anyway. Um, we're going to build from here. This is where our docks are going to be. There is no docks at the moment. I'm just assuming that's going to be a thing. I'm hoping it is at any rate. Let's pause down here. Now, we have received a message up the top. It's going to be very quiet, but it will... There will be talking. Hopefully, you can hear it. Uh, it's our new employer. Now, I expect this park to be operational very soon, and I'm giving you all the funding you need to achieve this. As this will be a trial run for you, no one outside of the company shall ever step foot on this island. So, no need to build an abundance of attractions. Focus solely on the future stars of our shows, the dinosaurs. Welcome to Prehistoric Kingdom. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I don't know if you guys heard that or not. I could barely hear it. I had to turn desktop audio way up, and I still don't know that you would have heard anything. Um, basically, there's our employer, and um, he's just telling you what I've already told you, that no one's going to come here anyway, so build bare bones. That's just a way of saying this is a demo, and 
deal with it. Uh, down the bottom here, this is our building tabs. We've got fences, several different options for the fences. Wood, stone, metal, glass, and misc are unavailable at this point in time. Uh, if you were to build things in, say, metal, you then click over here to place a gate in that fence. I don't know why, considering these are dinosaurs, you'd build anything bar metal. However, the wooden ones do look nice. Uh, you've then got your animal care, the habitation. This one here is one of the most important buildings, the animal nursery. This is where you you raise the little the, the little dinosaurs and then you put them out to a paddock. So, very important building. Feeding, you've got your small wooden feeder for herbivores, your larger one for larger herbivores. Uh, you've got a carnivore meat container and a water bowl, a large water trough. Shelters, you've got three options here. You've got the big one that anyone can, can hang out in. Uh, this large cozy structure is going to be used as a place to rest, or of rest, by many animals, big or small. Then you've got your uh, large stone shelter. Stone shelter is especially appreciated by shy or skittish animals who will enjoy the colder nature of this habitation. Um, at this point in time, it's not as important, just aesthetics for it, but I'm assuming, again, just assuming, but um, things like skittish animals, uh, animals that prefer cooler animals, animals that are a bit more shy, there will be several options for this, and you'll have to choose the right um, the right shelter for the right, right animal. And then finally, the trunk shelter. Tinier animals will feel right at home resting inside this small, natural-looking shelter. Moving along, infrastructure. Here we have our utilities. We've got uh, our water pumps and our wind turbines. Let's just whack down some of them, seeing as we're here. We'll look up, and I'm going to put them on the hills because I'm pretty sure that's what you do with um, wind turbines, All right? Whack a couple down. We've got unlimited funds, and power, in all honesty, is not actually an issue yet. Uh, water pumps are the other one, and with these you just go near to water. There are no pipes to place just yet, if we can get near the water. And we're just going to put them... We're going to rotate, so you've got the period and comma. And make sure that they are out to... Or well, facing out to, uh, out to sea. I'm assuming this is the sea we're on. If not, then... It's a very big lake. Anyway, let's get back over here. All the way back over where we want our base to be. Oh, not our base, sorry. Our, um, our park to start. Uh, transportation's the next one. And this here is just a little garage for the vehicles of staff. Doesn't really serve a purpose just yet, but we'll keep going. Uh, this particular tab down here is unselectable. It's a little dinner plate with a fork and a knife. I'm... That, well, that there most likely will be different uh, different shops for food, possibly also uh, all your other little shops, your souvenirs and the like. Next one along is a Ferris wheel, also unselectable. That'll be your non-dinosaur related rides. Our path is the next one, which is one that we're about to have a look at, we're going to use a fair bit of. So we're going to skip that one and go to decorations. For decorations, you've got the lamps, the rocks, and you can't yet select uh, guest objects. So we'll get to that one in the future, I, I guess. Global space. That's local space. Oh, yep, fair enough. Anyway, we want paths. We're going to start off, you've got dirt paths. Sand and dirt. Stone paths. There's three options for your stone paths. Square stone pavement. Uh, what is it called? The herringbone? Or is that that one? I can't tell. Maybe it's this one. Uh, stone. Another stone path. And then another stone path. Funny that. Cobblestone. I think that's probably the one that I'll go for. Just because it stands out a little bit more that it is something different. Even though it, I don't think it's quite as nice. Uh, then we've got wooden. Wood is, uh, well, as you'd, said, you'd, you'd imagine, it's, it's wood. Asphalt and natural are the other two options. We can't select either of those, unfortunately, because, yeah, it would be nice to put in some roads. Anyway, let's go with stone. Oh, zooming down. Anyway. And we're going to do it. Let's see our, our introduction path. 
Two out park. Three wide. Very easy to do. Just click on the ground. You don't have to hold down the click. Just click where you want to take it. And that's where we want to take it. Okay, up here is the entrance to our park. Mm-hmm. Yep, uh, before we go any further, I think what we need is to put in the fences. Now, yeah, wooden fences, silly, 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 silly. You never use a wooden fence when you've got giant dinosaurs, right? Well, they look good, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. We're going to go three across. Uh, placing these is pretty easy to do, very similar to the paths. You can go diagonally or in straight lines. And you have the permanent grid there, so it's nice and easy. I would suggest that that become a toggle option. I haven't seen if it is a toggle option yet, but it would be nice for that to be toggled off when you are... Um, yeah, even when you're building. Just to, just to see what you're doing, what it's going to look like, all that kind of thing. But it's nice that it does pop up when you are building automatically. There is a limit to how far you can take these. And then I'll stop. And then let's, let's do our path up this way. Uh, there's a bit of a... It goes down a little bit there, the, the park. That's, that's alright, I can live with that. We're going straight across here. Now, how, how far have we gone here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 13. 13 across. I get this as even as we possibly can. We never will. I've tried this a hundred times and I never get it right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then we go as far as we can. Diagonals. The diagonals change. You see that? Depending on... And I think it's the diagonals that always get me. So let's see how we've gone. Uh, terribly. Terribly. We've missed out by... <laughs> we've missed out by two squares. And I dare say it would was... That diagonal over there. Anyway. Uh, well, that means that's a little bit wider than I want it to be. So, let's... Let's do this. And that'll allow us the option to show you this neat little device down here. Known as a bulldozer. Alright, so you just select what parts you want bulldoze and then demolish. Done. Done. Uh, now we need some gates here. So we're going to place the gates. We'd only want uh, two inns because our visitors are not leaving the place. There's a good chance they're not leaving anyway. They, they might become the food. And one out. One out right in the middle. Just to be as in most inconvenient as possible to our guys. Now I want service roads going around the fences. So let's see if we can't put down a dirt service road. And this will start right here. It's a good, as good a place as any to start, I think. Oh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't like that. Don't like that. Let's see if we can't get rid of that. And, yeah, there we go. The diagonals didn't quite, didn't quite match up with what I wanted. Oh, 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 cameras. Cameras. Is that one... Yep, that's alright. That's good. Let's just take it all the way around. At this point, it is all just aesthetics. It's not the most well-optimized game just yet. But it's getting there. The fact that this is a free demo that you can play at this point uh, and it's very early. Very early in development. Still quite impressive. Okay, what did I what did I make that for? Uh, I put in. I've put in a, a service road for our our vehicles. Which way is? Which way are we? Which way are we going to go? That way. 
we get a bit of a a bit of a delay there and we'll just watch it build up see how we go with it all right I had to take a very quick break then screaming babies <laughs> anyway uh, we've got our our vehicle depot in stuff all-terrain vehicle color preset army green oh what do we want uh, mm. We need yellow and green is what we need. <laughs> well, let's just go with one of each. Why not? Doors, roof. Oh, hey. You turn turn the doors off. And the roof. Nice. Yeah, fancy. Okay. Let's play around with that just a little bit. Uh, restore position, repair, and we can drive it. Nice. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played around with this too much. This is not the best road. We, we could have done a better job with this road. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not good, not good. Not good. Let's let's take the Jeep back. <laughs> let's take it back. Oh, jeez. In the garage. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Um. <laughs> uh, there is the option to repair, so let's repair those. Um, <laughs> I, I do have my license. I'm I'm a good driver <laughs> ordinarily. Uh, I don't know why. I just really enjoy doing that. Let's let's just give a give them a little little bit of a path to get in and in and out to that service road. All right. Uh, enough of that. <laughs> let's um let's continue with some fences. Now I'll whack them down. Just like this. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's have a look at the bulldozer again. Isn't that great? I love showing you guys the bulldozer. That's all I was doing. Now, we want to... We want to put in some more roads, I guess. We'll put down the roads. Keep it stone. This here will dictate where we place our pens. And I'm just ran I'm just gonna randomly do it. I'm not going there's not going to be no rhyme or reason. No rhyme or reason to um where we put the roads, although uh we might want to rethink that particular road. Here we go. Still got it wrong somehow. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, let's uh let's keep going. We'll put the road down this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bit of lag there. Just as likely my computer as anything else. Uh, yep. And then we'll put another road. Another one going straight up here. It's not a road, actually. It's a path. And bring it back down to here. Very good. we got a little spot there that we should be getting rid of, but I'm... I'm I'm in a bit of a hurry, so we're not going to today. Uh, that gives us this area here. I imagine we'd have all our fun little shops and you know little kitty rides and the and the like there. Right here is where we're going to have our main attraction. I think put it right in the middle. Come on, right in the middle. I think that would be a good idea. Perhaps, on oh, that little, oh, jeez, um, that didn't go so well. Yep, demolish please. Let's try that again, shall we? Stone paths. Unselect you, and then we're going to, you don't have to do it too wide, I'm just doing it too wide because I can do it too wide. Pretty much the only reason, really. All right, and that's a big area. Maybe we'll have our main attractions over here. Actually, you know what? I think we will, seeing as there is a very limited number of dinosaurs at the present. However, there are options for... Don't zoom in too far. There are options 
for some of those dinosaurs. And we'll get into that as soon as we place some fences. And we're going metal. Going all out metal. We're going to bring it across like so. Nope, that's not where we wanted it. Bring it up this way. This is going to be... One big pen. Obviously, for one big dinosaur. More than one, actually. Uh, we're going to bring it along like this. And we're going to make two pens for the same dinosaur. Seems odd, I know, but it'll make sense in time. Bring it across. Like so. Bring that one down to there. Okay, up here we want a service road. Coming along. And a few gates wouldn't go astray. Metal gates if we can. Hmm. Uh, that's, uh, that's our get out as quick as we can gate, I think. Switch you around, and you. There we go. So that's our way in and out of all these areas here with the car. We've got two big pens. That's all good. Uh, we want another pen in here, obviously. And we could go with something a bit different. We can go with a stone one around this area, I think. Uh, the point is not in the best of spots. Okay. The start point, anyway. So we're going to get it. We're going to do it this way. Oop. Well, let's just go across here. I imagine a fountain or something going in there. Not an option at the present, but we can probably put in a, a nice lamp or something. Bring this, whoop, bring this along here. Oh, that, that point works out well. Yeah, it does. Uh, we want a couple of gates for this as well. And we're going to have them... We'll have them over here. One out. And one in. Th I don't think... Oh. That didn't work. <laughs> There we go. And maybe one more just for just for the OCD. Not a good option having gates that are so decorative, I guess, going into the enclosure. I'm guessing that this is possibly not the right kind of gate or right kind of fence that you'd want for the dinosaur we're going to place in there. We'll get to that in a minute, however. Along here, we can whack in a couple more service doodads. Uh, where do we want? Ah, oh, here we go. The animal nursery. Let's whack you down there. And we'll just lag out a little bit. Hang out for the lag out. Ooh, hopefully we haven't crashed. No, whoa, 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 where are we? Where are we? We're flown across the map, <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. So it is going in. Very early build. Very early build. Okay, so have we put it around the wrong way? Yes, we have. Of course we have. It's alright. It's all good. Let's... Let's just put a... Oh, apparently we can't... We can't build that close. We can, however... Build it around like so. Okay, so that there is the nursery. Not a place that we're going to have visitors going. So, for that reason, we're going to kind of block this area here off a little bit. Uh, as it is not, it's not a scary area, we're going to block it off. Only, only a semi blocked off, but I'm going to block it off with, um, 
wooden wooden walls just to hide this this service road. Uh, you know what? I, uh, yep, there we go. No, there we don't go. There we go. Demolish. Just realise that we can do it to here. And... This area here... Uh, let me let me deselect you. I want to go in to a different... A different gate. A different uh, fence. One that we can see through again. And we're going to... Give it a little bit of a gap. From the road. Because we've already done that previously. So we might as well keep doing that. Uh, cross like so. And we've got to get this one here down here. There we go. This is going to be another little pen. May as well. Uh, we're going to want some service gates to it. Aesthetics again. They're not um, not essential. Not essential at this point in the game. We'll do it anyway. Alright, so we've got one pen, two pen, uh, three sort of kind of pen. One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four. We got one more. One more to go in. <clears throat> Where are we going to put that? Why not put it over here? Yep, and we're going to use metal. Should we? No, you know what? You know what? We're going to continue with the wood over this side. Can we? Yep, that goes all the way. Good. Keep going up. Up. And... Bring it down across here. Alright, at the back here we want... No visitors. Just the service road. So we can... Hide this one from the visitors. It's all about the aesthetics. It really is all about the aesthetics at this point in, in in the game, and nothing else. We will need some gates to get in and out here. One to get in. One to get out. Get rid of you. Okay, I think that's all the, the different paddocks we need. Let's have a look at some things to put in there. Uh, we'll start with the shelters. We're going to put a very large shelter. And this one here will lag out when I place it down. I know it. I know it. I know it. We're going to place it anyway. In fact, we're going to place three of these. At least three. If we can. Still alpha. Still very early. Still very early. Come on. Maybe we're only going to trick out one of these. <laughs> because that was a little bit, um... That was a... I don't know. No, I'm going to I'm gonna try it again. going to try it again. We've... Possibly gone a little over in time. But um, we're not going to split this into two episodes. It's it, There's just not enough content for two, two videos. Too much for one video. So we'll trick out this one here. And these two. And, well, actually, we're not, we won't put all the other feeders and everything in it, in, actually, you know what, let's, let's try the feeder. These are going to be meat, and they're going to be a bit of a delay on it, but also, we will get to see the dinosaurs come and use these, so, let's give them a shot. One more, this is more, more than likely my computer itself playing up, FYI. Water as well, our water trough. These things here are what the dinosaurs tend to go for, in my experience, more often than not. This is what they'll end up going for over the food. So we get one of those in each of there. Very good. Now, let's come back over to the nursery, and this here is where we get to have the fun. There is only the one option for the main um, branch, I guess. The, the, the sub, we can go either... Our, 
our three horns. Little Sarah there, Triceratops. It's not actually... Oh, actually it is. Yeah, it is a Triceratops. That'll, that's the only thing that we can build... Or not build, but breed down here. If we go into our other one, I'm not even going to say the names. That gives us the Gallimindrus, which looks very much like an ostrich. Uh, with this fella here, down here, there is only the option for feathered. We can't, can't go with scaly. You can change it from male to female. And you can change the age. You have the Velociraptor. Okay, you can change the age. Male or female, they're both the same size. Feathered, you have no option for scales. Now, over here is one I didn't show you with uh, the Gallimimus. But you can change the skin. you got the Ashen. The Sand. Or my favourite, the Red Baron. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we're going to have a couple of these, I think. We're going to breed one of those. And it'll pop up over here. We're also going to breed... Uh, to female say and once they're bred let's get a couple of babes a couple of babies in here for two per to two per female and these are the smallest of the dinosaurs currently available now you single instance that's just putting one in at a time if we go for multiple we can select everything that we can do uh, this here is full, from what I can tell. I can't breed anymore until we do something with this lot here. Sometimes you will have dinosaurs just stuck in your nursery. Let's select all and place selected. Uh, yeah, the only way to get rid of them is to put them out to pasture. And we're going to put those ones, nice small ones, in here. We, you can see we're just placing down the red barons and the babies. And, yep, there we go. We're coming down nice and close. You can actually see these little fellas running around. When they do feel like running around. They've got nothing in here. Uh, they're not going to run around all that much. They're not going to go and get water or food or anything. They may even get a little bit stressed out. If we click on it, you can see healthy, hungry, thirsty, energy, and mood. They're going to be very moody soon. Because they've got no food. Uh, let's throw, if we can zoom up fast enough... Let's throw in some Gallimimus. Why not? We want one male. Oh, let's have a look. We've got the Sand Hill, the Silver, or the Bristle Neck. And we're going Bristle Neck for sure. Yep, definitely. One of you. <clears throat> it's a female. And a one male. A breeding pair. Select them both. Place selected. And I'm going to place them in this one here. They're a little bit bigger. So we're going to place both of those down. And you can definitely tell which is the female and which is the male just looking at them. The male is much larger than the female. Age, nine years old. Growth speed up applied. Female, current activity, wandering. Very good. Very good. All right, what else are we going to place? Well, we're going to get some Triceratops down, I guess. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, over here. So let's get the... Triceratops in, you have the Copperback, the Evergreen, and the Crimson Frill. I don't mind the Crimson Frill, but I think I'm going to go with the Evergreen. That's, yep, yep, definitely Evergreen. One male. Uh, we're going to get a female, so we've got a breeding pair. And they already have ooh, uh, two female baby ones. And one male. So we've got a, a little herd coming along. With this uh, with this particular dinosaur, the Triceratops. They're going in the middle. Three, four, five. Oh, is that it? Did we place them all? Uh, did we? I thought we had one more. I thought we had one more. Oh, we did. One more male, male uh, young. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 way out, way off. One more male, um, baby Triceratops. But the big daddy of them all, the one that we're all waiting for, that is going to be the Tyrannosaurus Rex. 
<laughs> we got little bubble ones. Okay, and as you can see, with this one here, we can choose feathered or scales. Recently, they've done a little um, looking into it, and they've decided that Tyrannosaurus Rex was a feathered dinosaur, looking something similar to this here. Uh, scales, however, that's what most people know him as. Uh, yep, male, yep, know him as. The male and the female, same size, for the same age. We're going to go with both. Uh, the Jurassic Park series goes with the unscaled. What you have to remember with the Jurassic Park series is those dinosaurs all, are all genetically created, modified, built, and they built them to be scaly. That's the story anyway. That's what they're going with. I can go with that. But I want to put down the feathered ones first. We've got the blackhead, the ginger, or the highlander. Highlander is my favorite for sure. So let's get one male. One female, and let's give you the, the blackhead. Why not? And pop you. And you guys have got one blackhead female. There we go. Place you. We're not going to place you there. You'll be getting out and killing everything. Where are we? They're going to go into here. There we go. Nice family there. And let's get... The scaly kind. So we're going to have a female leather hide this time. Oh, sorry, did I say female? A male. And a female leather hide as well. Oh, because that's all that's available. These ones do not have... Do not have a little... Little babies. Oh, no, gone the wrong way again. Turned around. So we're going to put them in here. And if we zoom down, we just had our dinosaurs over here eating all this delicious looking meat. Oh, that sound. That sound. Collision detection's a little, little bit of a thing as well. We'll just come over here and have a look. Yep, these ones are drinking and eating as well. It just, just looks more right, doesn't it? Than the feathered. I'm, I'm not opposed to the feathered kind, though. It doesn't look bad. Just not what I grew up with. Uh, where is the little fella? Where's your little fella? That's that's an odd question to ask. Uh, where is your little baby dinosaur? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's tiny. He is tiny. He's one month old. Just follow him around for a little bit. He apparently is drinking. Yeah, you're doing it a little bit wrong. <laughs> anyway, uh, at the present point in time, that is all that we have available. Yeah, we could have decorated here. You can add trees. You can add rocks. We've got 19 dinosaurs at the moment. I think what we need to do, though, we need to finish off by going for a, a drive. Whoa, okay. Yep. I, yep. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have... It's very late. I'm very tired. Very tired. <laughs> Let's go for a drive. Let's try that again. It's it's not it's not very responsive. Could be the dirt path that I put them. I put down. I'm not actually pushing forward. I'm just rolling along. Let's head on over here. You can see just to the side. Wow, this is a very bumpy track. Just to the side there, we have our. Tyrannosaurus Rexes. Let's get this gate open and see if we can't fit through here. Ow. Ow. Alright, well, I seem to have... I seem to have stuffed up with the, the gate system. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, that's how we let the dinosaurs go through and attack each other. <laughs> anyway, our, our truck is looking a little worse for wear. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there, though. That's a quick little look at a brand new title coming relatively soon, I hope. It's very bare bones at the present. Have a little play around. Leave your comments, uh, not just on this video, but also give the the um, developers a bit of a bit of an idea, a bit of an interest. Let them know what, what's what, what you like, what you'd like to see more of. Obviously, it needs to be optimized just a little bit more for for my computer at any rate. If you've enjoyed seeing this kind of content, 
let me know down below. Uh, leave likes, comments, all those kind of things. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.